Well, hi there, Pluckers. I have a sore finger again with you. Thanks very much for joining me for another guitar lesson. This is a request I've had from one of my subscribers called Eddie, and uh, he's asked if I could do uh, another number from John Morland, and this one number is called uh, Hearts Too Heavy. Okay, um, I put a link in the description box uh, so you can uh, go and hear and see uh, John Morland playing this number live. Okay, um, I'm in standard tuning. And I've got a capo on the first fret. This brings uh, us into the same key that John Morland plays this number in, which is uh, uh, so you can play along with the record if you so wish. Okay. Um, now then, uh, this number is quite tricky. I'll give you a bit of a heads up on this. Uh, the, some of the chord changing is quite quick. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break the number down into uh, different parts. Okay. So I'm going to do the intro to start with, break that down, show you how I played that. Then I'm going to do the verse, show you how to play that. And finally I'll do the chorus and uh, show you how I played that. Okay. So without more ado, um, let's get to it. Uh, so this is uh, basically the introduction uh, part. Okay. So it's <laughs> And so it's basically the introduction chords are D, A, E minor, and then what I call a modified D, and that's basically second finger on the uh, second fret of the sixth string and second fret of the third string with my third finger. Okay, now I'm just hitting those strings six, five, four, and three. Okay, and then a G. Okay, so D, A, E minor, modified D to G. But the timing of the uh, strumming is quite important. So it's single string uh, strum on the D, take D off, and then upstroke because you've got to get the A in, so it's and then hammer down again, so sort of strum down on the A, so it's and then <laughs> and then upstroke E minor, then the modified D and then the G okay, so I'll slow it down for you, here we go thing that he does occasionally uh, is when he comes out of that uh, he does that just occasionally he'll hammer on to the second fret of the third string with his uh, when he's playing the G chord that sort of thing okay it doesn't do it very often but it's there sometimes okay and the other thing you'll notice he does if you listen to the track um, sometimes um, before he starts singing he's just strumming the G he does okay does that that sort of that sort of sound okay so and what I'm doing there is basically I'm playing a G and then I'm putting my second finger up to the second fret of the sixth string and then hammering it on to the third fret with my third finger. Okay, so. okay, it does that quite a bit if you listen to the track. Okay, right um, uh, now the verse itself. Okay, right, so after he comes out of the second. D, 
doesn't do that with, with his angels in my eardrums but they can D, tell bad A, bad from good G. Okay? So it's to the ears in my eardrums I can tell bad from good. Okay? Now, same again for the melody. Then he plays basically the intro again. And I cried all night for the first time. Bro. Said it, honey, hold me close and make it feel like home. Because your love's a bride of the night tonight. Sometimes love is losing, losing. Okay, and on the fourth time, when it gets to the E minor, it stops with a single stroke. And then he plays a E minor seventh, which is I just basically add my pinky to the third fret as a second string, and it's like, and then goes into the G to do the chorus. Okay, so the whole verse is G. Well, the angels in my eardrums. Lived inside this melody, just to make sure I still could. goes into the G, which is the chorus, okay? You try and then there's that. So it's first line, you keep, you, you try to keep going, but the ride won't steady. And it goes to an A, so that's G to D. This is the chorus, okay? So you keep going, but the ride's not steady. And then it goes, Okay, so it's an A, but basically barring the second fret to get like an A shape. And then, and it's like, so it's, then you hammer up to the fourth fret of the fourth string with your third finger, okay. And then pull it off, and then go back to the G. And then, so it's pull off. The, from the second fret or the fourth to open, okay. okay go back. So it comes into the chorus, you try to go and put the right instead. You try to get a high, but your and then this time it's B minor, right hearts to heavy. Okay. And then it goes, uh, so I'll do that again. So Keep going, but the rise won't stay. Try to get high, but your heart's sorry. Try to get hearts, but your E B minor hearts hearts to A heavy. You have one thing on your mind. Okay, so it's E minor. You've got one thing, the modified D chord on your mind. And then, so uh, if you want to, you can do the intro again. Okay. So we'll go for that chorus again. Okay. So, and it comes out of uh, the verse. It comes into. So it comes into a, it's that E minor strum. Losing fight. And it does E minor seventh. It's 
slightly hard for me. I, I don't sing, so this is a bit tricky for me. But uh, to actually get it uh, completely right for you. But uh, if you listen to the track, you'll get it. Okay. So the chorus is basically G, da 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 da, da D, and then this A, G, da da da, da A, uh, sorry, B minor to A, A, and E minor, D modified, it's G. Intro. Okay, and that's basically all there is in it, really. The uh, intro, the verse, and the chorus. Okay, it just repeats. Uh, any questions, please ask. <laughs> there could be a few questions coming up, I think. Okay, so uh, anyway, best with that one, best of luck with that one. Uh, so, listen to the track, uh, get it in your head, and uh, I'm sure you'll be able to put together what I've just shown you. Okay, thanks very much for watching and listening, and I'll see you in the next video.